So ladies and gentlemen, today I present to you the true revelation 12 sign in the heavens, October 16th, 2017 from right here in London, UK. And guys, take a look for yourselves. I know I probably one of the last to upload my footage today, but I guess the wait, the wait has been worth it. The, the footage starts from 2.39, literally 9.23, 2.39, p.m. from one, Monday, October 16th, 2017. And London was in a state of you know shock when they saw this. I mean, I literally woke up to this. I had a, I woke up really late. I had a line. I woke up really late, and when I woke up, as soon as I woke up, I, I immediately I knew, I knew that something wasn't right. Because there was an eerie feeling in the air. And lo and behold, when I took a look outside my window, I mean, as you see in this footage here, I'm trying to mess around with, with the solar filter to see, you know, what the sun looked like. I didn't even need the solar filter. As you can see, look at the red around the sun. So much red. But as I was saying, as, as soon as I woke up, I took a look outside the window. And lo and behold, the sun was bang in the middle of the horizon. And it looked like it was saying. There was a reddish, like, you know, yellowish, reddish. That's what you normally would see when the sun is, like, you know, at the bottom of the horizon, edge of the horizon when it's, you know, going down. When it's setting on the west. But this was, like, mid-horizon and... This was just weird and it was scary and eerie and look at, the, look at how blood red it was. We want to talk about blood red moons but this is a blood red sun guys. Now we are seeing blood red suns. If this even really is our real sun. Is this our sun or is this something else? Because if you do your research you know that there's another huge object in Taurus called Aldebaran. I encourage everyone, so called, everyone that's so called you know, into this whole Nibiru community, Planet X community, if you're really researching into the whole Planet X, you know, phenomenon, and if you really call yourself, if you consider yourself a real researcher, you will, you will start to acknowledge Aldebaran in Taurus, in the constellation of Taurus. And you will start looking at the three other stars in Orion. Mintaka, Al-Nilham, Al and Al-Nitak, if you start, my pronunciation is right, but if you start looking at those, this red sun almost matches at the size and you know the redness of Aldebaran, which is the bullseye basically. Again, I'm giving you guys extra information here. I know I might even get in trouble for doing this, but I don't even care anymore because I know we've crossed that part that you know we've crossed that, that stage now. We passed that stage now. It's time to start you know letting everyone know the real truth. Like I said. I'm sick and tired of the lies and the bullshit and I'm sick and tired of, you know, the smoke and mirrors. Especially after all the bullshit that I've been seeing going on recently. You know, people starting to lose their minds, putting masks on their faces and coming out with all kinds of shit like, you know, just to try and defend themselves because they know they've all been sussed out, caught out, you know. We call them all out on their bullshit and they don't know what to do anymore. They're all running for the hills now. I'm telling it like it is, like I said. This, this footage speaks for itself, guys, and I will encourage you, all, all of you, to research Aldebaran, I'll even spell it out for you. A L D E B A R A N. That's A L D E B A R A N. It's in Taurus, guys. Constellation of Taurus. And then look at Mintaka in Orion. Mintaka is for M I N T A K A. And Al Niham and Al Nitak. They're all in Orion. Those three stars in Orion and Aldebaran, the huge giant red sun in Taurus, guys. This is the real deal. This is where you need to be looking. And this, I truly believe, is the real cause of what's going on. What we're seeing, these phenomenons in the sky, it's not what the lamestream, you know, the lamestream media is selling to us with, you know, the Sahara Desert and the wildfires in Portugal. This is all complete bullshit. And this is all coming 100 years after, you know, the first secret of Fatima, basically. The miracle of the sun 1917 or in 2017 now 100 years later and we're seeing this this is all connected guys this is all the synchronicity was this really our sun or was this something else well, that's, that's the billion dollar question that we don't i don't even have the answer to that question i'm just you know sharing with the footage that i have today i've just given you some extra information i know i shouldn't have given that information but i put it out there i encourage you to look at Aldebaran in taurus and those three other stars in Orion, Mintaka, Al Niham, and Al Nitak. Check it over out for yourself. Start looking into it more. Third secret of Fatima. This definitely felt, guys, like this was an eclipse. There's an eerie feeling in the air. 
the animals, the wildlife, I have cats, they even were behaving weird. You look at the ominous dark shadow, guys. 3 11 p.m. This is shortly after, like I've been talking so much. I'm not even, you know, doing a proper voiceover on this footage. I'm not doing it justice, but I'm just trying to explain to you. Look at this ominous dark shadow. It's clearly felt like this was an unmasked eclipse, and now I talked about the eclipse, and that three hour eclipse with the crucifixion. But this right here felt like an unannounced eclipse. Look at the ominous dark shadow. And this was supposedly, you know, during the whole hurricane Ophelia. I don't believe that none of that either. This was, yeah, there was a hurricane, but I don't believe the cause was, you know, the hurricane. I think there was other forces involved and definitely felt like another object came between the Earth and the Sun. And it had to be the dragon. Because that's what that was, what everybody else has been saying. And I really truly believe, that's why I thought it was really the true like revelation to all in the heavens, because it felt like it. That's what, what my instinct was telling me, that's what you know, the Holy Spirit was telling me. And I've heard so much about al Debaran recently, that's why I thought now's the time to you know, mention it even in a video. Because I don't know how much time we have left, and the sooner you guys know and start researching al Debaran, the better for you guys. I was messing around with the filters here, and you're here with the wind. I mean, uh, this camp called I'm using, it has filters built in, so that's why I was you know, messing around with it, just to see what I can pick up, if anything. But I encourage all you guys to look at what I've been mentioning, you know, in Taurus, Atebaran, and the other three stars in Orion. And like I said, too much bullshit in the Nibiru community, guys. Too much, you know, smoke and mirrors, too much lies, too much deception. It's time for someone to stand up. I'm willing to stand for my, for my cause, and, you know. I'm willing to stand up for everybody else right now and, you know, tell the truth. Because the truth needs to be put out there. No more lies, no more bullshit. Like, I don't care about the consequences. It's time for me to stand up for what I believe in. And that's the truth. So for now, I'm just going to say take care, stay safe, God bless and amen. If you want to continue to support me on Facebook, on YouTube, allow me to subscribe, add me, whatever you want, my guys. Take care, stay safe, God bless and amen. So ladies and gentlemen, today I present to you the true revelation 12 sign in the heavens, October 16th, 2017, from right here in London, UK. And guys, take a look for yourselves. I know I probably want the last to upload my footage today, but I guess the way, the way has been worth it. Look, the footage starts from 2.39, literally 9.23, 2.39, 2.39 p.m. from one, Monday, October 16, 2017, and London was in a state of, you know, shock when they saw this. I mean, I literally woke up to this. I, had a, I woke up really late, I had a lion, I woke up really late, and when I woke up, as soon as I woke up, I, I immediately I knew, I knew that something wasn't right. Because there was an eerie feeling in the air. And lo and behold, when I took a look outside my window, I mean, as you see in this footage here, I was trying to mess around with, with the solar filter to see, you know, what the sun looked like. I didn't even need the solar filter. As you can see, look at the red around the sun. So much red. But as I was saying, as, as soon as I woke up, I took a look outside the window. And lo and behold, the sun was bang in the middle of the horizon and it looked like it was saying. There was a reddish, like, you know, yellowish, reddish. That's what you normally would see when the sun is, like, you know, at the bottom of the horizon, edge of the horizon when it's, you know, going down. When it's setting on the west. But this was, like, mid-horizon, and this was just weird, and it was scary and eerie. And look at, the, look at how blood red it was. We want to talk about blood red moons, but this is a blood red sun, guys. Now we are seeing blood red suns. If this even really is our real sun. Is this our sun? Or is this something else? Because if you do your research, you know that there's another huge object in Taurus called Aldebaran. I encourage everyone, so called, everyone that's so called, you know, into this whole Nibiru community, Planet X community, if you're really researching into the whole Planet X, you know, phenomenon, and if you really call yourself, if you consider yourself a real researcher, you, would, you will start to acknowledge Aldebaran in. Taurus, in the constellation of Taurus, and you will start looking at the three other stars in Orion, Mintaka, Il Nail, Al, Al Nilham, and Al Nitak, if you start, I don't know if pronunciation is right, but if you start looking at those, this red sun almost matches at the size and, you know, the redness of Al Aldebaran, which is the bullseye, basically. Again, I'm giving you guys extra information here, I know I might even get in trouble for doing this, but I don't even care anymore. Because I know we've crossed that part, that you know we've crossed that that stage now. We passed that stage now. It's time to start, you know, letting everyone know the real truth. Like I said, 
I'm sick and tired of the lies and the bullshit and I'm sick and tired of, you know, the smoke and mirrors. Especially after all the bullshit that I've been seeing going on recently. You know, people starting to lose their minds, putting masks on their faces and coming out with all kinds of shit like, you know, just to try and defend themselves because they know they've all been sussed out, caught out, you know. We call them all out on their bullshit and they don't know what to do anymore. They're all running for the hills now. I'm telling it like it is, like I said. This, this footage speaks for itself, guys, and I will encourage you, all, all of you, to research Aldebaran and not even spell it out for you. A-L-D-E-B-A-R-A-N. That's A-L-D-E-B-A-R-A-N.